NARCAD supports the ability to export your catalogs to a light version. For example, we have a catalog that has various components in it that even have design variations. In this case, this is a shelf. If I drag and drop it out, you'll see that it actually has a variety of design variations that can change in size the particular shelf in, in, that we want to use. In this case, this is a smaller shelf. You can actually export this to light to be used in other products, including IronCAD Compose, or you can just keep it as a light version that you can distribute to other users in your company, even using IronCAD. To export your catalog, simply go to your catalog, right click, and you'll see an option to export to a light format. It'll ask you where to save the file, and you simply hit save. I've already saved this file, so I'll just go ahead and open it up, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. If we go ahead and open our catalog in our light version, you'll see it looks a little bit different than what you saw before. If we now drag and drop our components, for example, we look for our shelf inside of here, you'll see that our shelves have changed to these folders. These are actually, if you click in, each design variation was automatically exported and configured into a group. So you simply just drag and drop out your element, figure out which one you like to use. In our case, maybe we want to use a 72 by 36. We select that item, and it gives us that item. And since these are light elements, you'll notice that these are all faceted data. There's no real data behind it, so this is a secure format. And this can be used in IronCAD or as in Compose product. You can open this up and do the same thing. And any intelligence that you may have built into your elements is also, also maintained. For example, say we have these connectors that can drop onto the top. Notice they automatically snap onto those components. Or if we have a kick card that we want to use on our component, we can drag and drop that out onto our component with left or right click and say, well, in this case, we want a 48. It gives us all our options for our connections. In case we wanted to go the opposite way, we can drag and drop that component out. Same for our rail assemblies. We can drag and drop those out and say we want a 54 by 36. We can drag and drop and select that component. And notice, even though the, this configuration may have intelligent behavior, even at the feature level, even though these are graphic, uh, graphical elements now, the feature information is still carried through. For example, if we drag and drop shelves onto these components, it is actually stored at the uh, feature level on these these holes on our part, but you can't see those at the facet level. But in our case, that intelligence is maintained, so if we go ahead and say we want a 48 by 36, we drag and drop that, notice it knows how to place itself. So we put, put another one up here, we can pick the same shelf element, and it automatically snaps and orients for us in place. The beauty of using the light catalogs is this is a, a good way to share your catalogs and allow people not to edit those, but when it comes back into the real design department that you may want to use this as a starting point to create your production drawings, you can take this element, go to your tools, and say compose data to original, and it'll actually convert all your graphical data. If you look over here on our left, once it's complete, it'll convert it all to the real data as you see here, we now have features and information that's stored below these. Even on our shelves, we now have all the shelf data, all the feature data below that that actually built up this geometry. So a very handy tool that you can use to share again with users inside your company using IronCAD or even the Compose product that you can have outside of your company for sales or other uh, customers to access your own components to configure your products, then bring it back into IronCAD to convert it to the real data.